Hey, hi, welcome back to Digit.in. My name is Vignesh. Now, about a year ago, Lenovo showed us the Legion Y530 gaming laptop. And this year, it's showing us the Legion Y540 gaming laptop. And as you can probably tell from here, it's absolutely the same device. But that's okay. Nothing has changed on the outside. It's what's on the inside that matters. And on the inside, we have a 9th gen core i7 CPU and an RTX 2060 graphics card. Let's learn more about this device now, shall we? Okay, then let's jump right into performance. Everyday performance on the Legion Wi Fi 40 review unit was admirable. Lenovo's newest gaming laptop handled multiple instances of common applications such as Google Chrome, OneNote, Word, Excel, File Explorer, Photos, and Microsoft Store across multiple virtual desktops without any signs of lag or stuttering. Switching between slightly heavier applications such as Adobe Lightroom Classic and Epic Games Launcher happened smoothly without any problems. Simultaneous game downloads happened without any fuss too. Okay, what about gaming then? That's what we're really here for. Gaming in full HD resolution was a pleasurable experience on the Legion Wi-Fi 40. On the review unit, Doom ran on ultra graphic settings at an average frame rate of 140 frames per second. The same game on high graphic settings ran at 141 frames per second. That's barely any difference. The Metro Exodus benchmarking tool gave us an average score of 42 frames per second for ultra and 52 frames per second for high. Hellblade managed an average frame rate of 72 frames per second on Ultra, which rose to a negligible 75 frames per second on High. Crisis 3 ran on Ultra at an average frame rate of 79 frames per second, but jumped to 115 frames per second on High, which is considerable, really. Gameplay, with or without ray tracing, was a pleasant experience on the Legion Wi-Fi 40. I was able to play all of the aforementioned games without coming across any visible signs of lag or stuttering. Heat and noise too were in check. While the underside and rear vents of the laptop got quite hot during gaming sessions, very little of it was felt around the WASD keys. What about the display? The Legion Wi Fi 40 comes with a 15.6 inch full HD 144Hz IPS LCD panel. According to Lenovo, the display can manage 300 nits of brightness and reproduce 72% of the colors in the sRGB color space. In my experience, the display is crisp and colorful for web browsing, reading, and other content consumption. To sum it up, you won't be disappointed by the Legion Wi Fi 40's display whether you're gaming or working. Sound from the Legion Wi Fi 40's two slanted front firing speakers is surprisingly good. The maximum volume is sufficient for watching a short video in a quiet bedroom but falls short in noisier spaces. That said, vocals and highs from the two drivers are heard clearly while watching video game trailers. Surprisingly, even lows make it through without sounding muffled. The Legion Wi-Fi 40 has ports on the sides and back. On the left side, we see a USB A3.1 port and a single 3.5mm audio jack for headsets. On the right side, we see a single USB A3.1 port and that's it. On the back, which is a rather inconvenient place to have ports, we see a USB-C port, a mini display port, a USB A3.1 port, a full-size HDMI port and a LAN port. Let's not forget the proprietary power port as well. What's missing, however, is a fingerprint scanner. Let's move on to the keyboard and touchpad. The keyboard on the Legion Wi-Fi 40 is something of a mixed bag in that the keys on it are large and easy to read but not exactly comfortable to type on for long documents. The flat, white, backlit keys feel left aligned more than usual because of the number pad. What's more, the keys have low travel and lack the right level of resistance. As a result, you end up mistyping quite a bit. That said, they get the job done for gaming and short documents and emails. The touchpad on the Legion Wi-Fi 40 is extremely easy to operate. It's large enough for clicks, taps and swipes. The plain matte finish surface is grippy but not sticky, which is the way a touchpad should be. Being a precision unit, the touchpad accepts multi-finger gestures without needing any third-party drivers or utilities. That means switching between apps and virtual desktops is a breeze. The two independent left and right mouse buttons are a bit hard to press but you'll get used to it with time. Let's take a look at the build and design. The Legion Wi-Fi 40 undoubtedly builds on the subtle classy design of its predecessor. Actually, it's the exact same body as the Legion Wi-Fi 30s. There is, however, one tiny but significant difference in the new model. Lenovo has removed the tiny logo from the rear overhang of the top cover and placed it inside on the palm rest of the keyboard island. This is clearly a move aimed at promoting the Legion brand over Lenovo's own. 
All that said, the Legion Wi-Fi 40 looks good and feels sturdy when held in the hand. The top cover is made of serrated plastic, but it feels quite strong when the lid is held. There's little flex while opening or closing the lid and using the keyboard. The overhang behind the display hinges is long enough to be used as a handle, but you might not want to do this unless, of course, you're the type to live life dangerously. At 2.3 kilograms, the Legion Wi-Fi 40 is quite heavy in the hands. On the inside, we see a 15.6-inch matte finish LCD panel with really slim black bezels on three of its four sides. The bottom bezel is large and home to a single camera, which is sure to expose your nostrils during a video call. The display folds back all the way to 180 degrees, which we don't get to see on a lot of gaming laptops, so that indeed is a good thing. All things considered, the Legion Wi-Fi 40 enjoys a clean look and robust build for a device of its price. I only wish the laptop's top cover were made of metal and not plastic. Lenovo has specifically designed the new Legion series to look quiet and understated in a crowd of other gaming machines and I think the Legion Wi-Fi 40 succeeds in doing that. What about the battery then? The battery on the Legion Wi-Fi 40 is the weakest I have seen on any gaming laptop yet. In everyday use scenarios, the review unit dropped from full charge to 63% in about 51 minutes. During these test sessions, I browsed on several Chrome tabs and copied some files. During another such session, the battery dipped from full charge to 21% in about 2 hours. Charging the laptop back up to 100% took close to 2 hours. In summary, the Legion Wi-Fi 40 is not for you if you're expecting to work unplugged for long hours. Okay then, so that about sums up the new Legion Wi-Fi 40 gaming laptop from Lenovo. So things I liked about it, that crisp display, the overall fit and finish of this laptop right here. I thought that for a gaming laptop, it looked really clean and classy. And of course, there's the performance. I thought that for a machine that costs 1 lakh 30,000 rupees, it behaved pretty well with very good heat management. Things I did not like, however, the odd placement of the keys and the fact that all the ports are on the back over here. Otherwise, it's a laptop you can definitely live with. Thank you so much for watching this review. I shall see you in the next one. Ta-ta! For the latest technology updates, subscribe to Digit.in and don't forget to hit the bell icon.